There's some of the biggest, most amazing benders I've seen in a lot of communities over the years. There's a big bender on the left, and then on the right, it's a kind of storeroom lounge. And this is where there was ducks. Ducks and geese. I think they've had a ferret attack recently or something, but you know. It's an amazing place. It's incredible what people have created in, you know, three years, you know. And like I say, 40 of us walked out of London. I was very involved for the first year or two. And uh, I've been coming and helping a lot for the last, you know, for the court case and all sorts you know, bring on to it. But we've just got it delayed, got another few months. But it's absolutely incredible what people can create out of recycled materials, what they can find. A lot of the tarps are covered here, just old advertising. Um, they drop off the big tarps from advertising hoardings and people make them into homes, you know. Log cabins and roundhouses and there's like octagon shaped houses and hexagon shaped houses and two story houses people created. When I first started coming back again, I was uh, I slept in a different house each night, and this I slept in this bender, and this bender's five stars, Joe's bender. That's a five star bender. Five star bender. It's got like double lined walls and like uh, double glazing windows put in it. Stuff. I just got to show you this one. This is uh, this is uh, what they call the fairy house. Beware of the fairies. And it was built by uh, I think a Danish woman. It was built on a tree that had fallen down. You see this tree? She built a house around it. Uh, it's incredible. Look, it's got slates and walls, beautiful door, boot rack. Hello, Dave. So look at the slate pad walls, beautiful. Hello, Dave. No, you can have a quick look in there, just so you might... You I know. don't really want to film in someone's private. Right, have a, just have a look, have a look. Built around the tree. Beautiful. I mean, they've had lots of people come in and film and photo. And it's a bit of a showcase. Is she still around then? No. I mean, I mean, some people come and stay for three... Some people come and stay for a few days, some people three months, six months. We've got to go check this one. Three months, six months a year. Some people a couple of years and then, you know move on to another community or a bit of land or you know so there's some there's a few of us that are still here been here you know been here for over the three years or whatever is there some unoccupied lodgings then yeah if you come up and say on stay tonight they'll say oh yeah the fairy house is empty or the, you know this one's empty you can go and stay on this side you know people are very good on the mutual aid and cooperation and you know, and every community has its ups and downs and roundabouts. And we've got 30 or 40 people living together. There's definitely a, a lot of, you know, community enders. This house is amazing. Uh, recently, I think, a Danish couple moved in, older couple, and they tidied it all up, fixed it up. But that's a two-story house in there. They've got a really nice kind of uh, mezzanine floor in there. And down here, there's a kitchen and a nice little lounge with windows on the other side. Check the windows on the other side, it's going about. It's nice. They built a nice trench for the. Uh... I mean, look at all these windows, carefully stuff, come out skips, you know? You can just find them, put them together. Oh, they're growing chilies. But it's stunning, really, you know. And down that way is like a, a roundhouse someone's building, and other sorts of different shapes and sizes of houses. And you know, the carbon footprint of some of these houses, let alone the cost of some of these houses, is you know, they're built out of 16 pallets, and people get some tarps from somewhere. And Watland door produces that's the compost toilet. Long house this way. So. Like the long house we're going to now is built, um, it was one of the fir first structure we built and uh, it's just like a square frame with a triangle on top and then you pull that up and then you put a second one up and then you can make the long house longer, put a third or fourth one of them on, put the cross beam along the top and keep extending. And the ancient Celts used to live in long houses, I think when we went to Tara in Ireland there was a 
of the time, some point in the 9th, 9th to 10th century, it was the longest long house in the whole of Europe or something. It had a massive feasting hall where lots of feasting and merriment and telling of tales and things, you know? Feasting and merriment and telling of tales. Indeed.